Hello, my name is Austin Johnson, and the bird I will be presenting to you is the blue winged teal. Scientific name Anus Discourse. The classification of the blue winged teal is Domain Eukarya, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Aves, Order Anisformes, which is all waterfowl, Family. Anadate and genus Anus. When identifying a blue winged teal, the most prominent thing to look for is the blue patch followed by white and green beneath it, located on the forewing. This can be found on both males and females. The best way to see this is while they are in flight with their wings stretched out. All of the males have a white line on their faces between the eye and the bill and are much more colorful than the females. Females lack the white line on their face and are grayish, brownish in coloration. The females are always larger than the males. Their wingspans range from 22 to 24 inches and total lengths are typically 14 to 18 inches. The typical weight of an adult blue winged teal ranges from 9.5 to 17 ounces. Blue winged teal are endothermic, which means that they are warm blooded animals and they maintain a constant body temperature regardless of the outside temperature. They also have bilateral symmetry, meaning that you can split the, the bird in half on a plane, and the halves that are made will result in a to mirror image. A blue winged teal can live for up to 17 years in the wild. Blue winged teal and all waterfowl have many different natural predators, diseases, and parasites that play a big factor in the longevity of their lifespan. When young, the ducklings are very susceptible to a variety of diseases and parasites that prevent them from reaching maturity. In young teal, migration south during the fall and north in the spring is a high source of mortality, dodging predators and hunters. When it comes to the food chain, ducks are at the bottom of the list. Anything with sharp teeth would love to snack on a duck. There are many different predators that have an impact on the production of waterfowl. Some examples of predators that blue winged teal have to watch out for are, include red foxes, raccoons, skunks, coyotes, badgers, hawks, snakes, squirrels, minks, crows, and many more. The list goes on and on. For a duck to migrate thousands of miles south in the winter and back up north in the spring just amazes me. Blue winged teal are some of the first waterfowl to migrate south in the fall and the last to head back up north in the spring because they cannot endure the cold weather. Some blue winged teal do spend some of the winter months in the southern U.S., but most of them migrate to South America or Mexico. There are four flyway regions in the United States, the Atlantic, Mississippi, Central, and Pacific. North Carolina is located in the Atlantic Flyway. Blue winged teal can be found in all four of the flyways, but are most plentiful in the Central and Mississippi Flyways. I personally do a lot of waterfowl hunting, and I typically see blue winged teal migrating through starting in September, and they be begin to show up again towards the end of January when they are heading back north. Migration and all waterfowl solely depends on cold weather and food availability. Each species of waterfowl can endure different weather temperatures, meaning that they migrate south at different times depending on the weather. Their diet primarily consists of invertebrates, but they also like to eat on seeds, corn, pond weeds, waste grain, and aquatic grasses. In the spring, when they are breeding, their diet switches over to tadpoles, snails, and aquatic insects. 
blue winged teal are monogamous, meaning that they only have one mate at a time. The pairs usually find each other at the wintering grounds or during the spring migration back north. When the females arrive at the breeding grounds, they will most likely be paired. Blue winged teal nest from late April to early May. They usually like to breed in the northern prairie pothole regions in Canada. The female prefers to lay its eggs in wetland areas, including watery ditches, ponds, sloughs, and shallow marshes. A female blue winged teal usually lays between 6 to 14 eggs per spring, and it takes between 21 to 40 days for the eggs to hatch. After the, the young are hatched, they are independent after 40 days. The males don't play any part in building the nest or caring for their offspring. The females do all the work. When a female builds a nest, she digs a bowl-shaped depression in the dirt, then lays grass inside the bowl. She only lays one egg per day. When the female comes back and forth to the nest, she lands a short distance from the nest so that predators do not know the exact location of the nest.